Darren Fennick. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. Um, I think my biggest takeaway is just the fact that we get to listen to the stories and how they're, you know, kind of gain their experience and hear their issues and their challenges throughout the event. And it kind of reflects, you know, on me to, to you know, obviously not have to do those things and get, gain their experience. So. so, Darren, how long have you been with us here in the Mastermind? Uh, I think it's been about a year and a half now. A year and a half, and you started with me how long ago? About two years ago. About two years ago, and how many properties do you have now? 26. 26 properties, all right. And let's just scan across over here to the uh, to the screen, and what we're seeing is a report from Darren, and he says, since the last meeting we had together, uh, it says uh, offers made three and number of properties bought three which is a pretty great thing. That's called a high conversion rate for sure. And added equity, I think all of you be interested in this. This is $192,000 in added equity cash received from new buyers and renters coming in, 15873 And added cash flow, $2,873 a month since the last event. Can everybody give him a big hand? <laughs> Stuff. So, what do you attribute your success to, Darren? <laughs> to the street smart system. <laughs> to the street smart system. It's a beautiful thing. Very beautiful. Well, you know, we always have conversations with all of our licensees here at the event, and we want everyone to always have great takeaways. So, uh, with let's let's go to Trace right quick. I'm Tracy Mills. I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. And I think my biggest takeaway is we always try to do things our own way. So if you'll follow the system, you'll be safe and stay within the lines and everything will work out perfect. Everything will work out perfect. Awesome. Yes. All right, Partiv. Hello. My name is Partiv Shah. I'm from Germantown, Maryland. And the biggest takeaway is the purpose and the vision for our program. Uh, here's what I learned, I heard from Lou, and I quote, remember, housing is a necessity. Everyone needs a home. And homeownership is better than renting. And we help those who can't buy their home through conventional means. So we are here to help those who need help. Yay! Awesome. Mike Connor out of San Antonio, Texas. And uh, uh, what Lou is uh, trying to get me to do is get outside of my comfort zone. So supposedly I'm going to talk to a TV producer. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. We're going we're gonna to take our message to the market by actually being on camera in our local markets in their um, in their respective capacity to interview us and learn more about our certified affordable housing provider program and the path to ownership that we offer to uh, the folks locally. So that's a great thing. All right. I'm Lisa Connor from San Antonio, Texas. And what I've learned is the importance of networking in your community, whether that's with um, Probate attorneys or auctioneers or or attorneys that really aren't your friend that you want to make your friend. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Great. Hi, I'm James Brockowski. You can call me JB from Marietta, Georgia. And I've been with you for about 10 years and it's changed my whole life. I've got a business, got my family in it, but uh, the thing I'd like to have a takeaway here is that uh, in the tax appeals, every year when counties come out and reassess your property, you have an uh, opportunity to go argue with them about the value of the property. This can save you an awful lot of money right up front. Yes! Good Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy Brockhouse from Marietta, Georgia. And one of my takeaways was to really develop relationships with uh, real estate agents so you can help you know, get their expired listings. Excellent, excellent. Real estate expired listings. Hello, my name is Shelly from Indiana. And my big takeaway is 
consequences of not taking action, and then also sharing those consequences with your team so that everybody is accountable for what they should be doing and they know what it looks like if they shorten that. Accountability. Very important. I'm Rob Sly from Columbus, Ohio, and I've learned that no matter what the economy is, if you take action, there are deals out there. And I just responded to an email last night and have two houses that uh, they said, let's, let's do it. So. Let's do it! Yeah. So I'm Cynthia from the southern part of Illinois. This is uh, our 31st mastermind. We've been involved with the, the Street Smart System in New Ground for over 10 years. And it has been a game changer for us. The beautiful thing about this kind of mastermind meeting is not only are we improving our businesses, but we're assisting others to improve their business and to spread the word of how great this business is and how many people that we can help across the country. Awesome. Baltimore, and been with Lou. I think I originally came with my wife and. The spring of 2018, so joined Mastermind in 2019. So we've had a couple of years, and this is really our first um, you know, experience with with real estate. And uh, quickly grew our business through coaching and through lose coaching with the Shriers. And um, I think from today, I learned, or this past couple of days, learned just all the experience in the room, and from past lives and from the real estate business, and how we can leverage that for what we're trying to do. Excellent. Excellent. Leveraging other people's knowledge is a beautiful thing. Hi, I'm Michelle Vogel from Maryland with Paul. And my biggest takeaway, I think, is just continuing to listen to people's problems more and letting them answer for themselves, especially with work for equity, and just finding out maybe the resources of our clients might be greater than we think, and maybe be willing to do a little bit more work um, out to local contractors and such. So don't limit the opportunities that you may be thinking people can do or will do, but actually keeping an open mind to the fact that they would be willing to do more work and may have more money to put down simply because you're asking the right questions. Right. Brilliant. Beautiful. That's good Hi, my name is Brad and we're from the uh, Central Tennessee area. And one of the great things about the Street Smart uh, Lou Brown system is we get a chance with the uh, the Platinum Mastermind to gather peers three times a year to look at everybody's business, diagnose everybody's business, listen to their problems, their victories, and there's absolutely no way in the world that you could ever walk away from a three-day event like this without being inspired to do better every day. I absolutely love it. That's great. I'm Christine from the Central Tennessee area, uh, local here, and we just came back. We were we took a sabbatical for a year, about a year. Had some family issues, so the beautiful thing is you can come back into a, a family, and we call this a family, and you step right back in. And everyone treats you just the same as when you left. So again, you're learning. As my husband said, you're learning more and you're gaining from the knowledge in this room that you couldn't gain on your own outside of here. It's just not possible. Well, thank you. Hi, my name is John McConnell. I'm from Washington, Pennsylvania. And I guess the biggest takeaway from the, all of this is uh, for me, uh, quit being so stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and uh, I guess it's a scholarship, but anyhow, um, let people work for equity would be the best thing instead of me trying to do everything. Excellent, excellent. Now the equity program to work, it's magic. Hello, Tina from Nashville, Tennessee. Um, one of the many um, standouts, I guess. In my mind is what we said day one that we need to stand out and not hide out something i tend to want to do sometimes we stand out in our communities be proud of what we do as we work hard to do good 
Excellent, excellent. Stand it out. Get connected with the community. Very, very important. Bill Flynn, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, this business changes, economic situations change, uh, homeowners and renters situations change. And it's good to have a group that you can meet with and discuss what's going to be different in the future, what's happened in the past, learn from the past, plan for the future, and have a lot of good ideas and good-minded people to share these ideas with and come up with good strategies, deal with the changes as they come. Excellent, excellent. Good strategy to cause your business to occur. Hi, my name is uh, Tim Marquis from Sacramento, California. And throughout this this few days, these last few days, it's just really getting present to the, the community-based business that we have. And when um, the thing that I've really gotten present to is the people that I'm to kind of read. If I, if I don't do it in my local community, then who in the community is going to help those type of, who, who are the good, who am I not helping in that community by that action? So I'm really present to that from these last few days. I really, really love that one, Tim. So you're saying that if I don't do it, who is going to do it? And if nobody does it, those people are not getting served in any way, shape or form. So you're causing other folks to have change in their lives because of who you're being. That's right. Absolutely. That's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the brother here, Kevin, uh, with Tim uh, in Sacramento. And uh, what I really was sort of taking away uh, from this meeting is one of the things that we discussed sort of early on in the meeting, and it's um, really a discussion, a larger discussion around commitment. It's, you know, we always have to be committed to what we're doing. So it's really taking that step and always, regardless, life gets in the way. So it's making sure we're committing every day to, you know, to doing that good and serving the community because it's, you know, like Tim said, if, you know, we're not going to do it, who's going to do it? Who's going to do it? That is good stuff, man. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>